What's up ladies and gentlemen from slide nerd this is weebs welcome to this tutorial where i'm going to be showing you how to take the reverse of a number so first question you must be thinking right now why the hell would i take a reverse well even i don't know why you take a reverse i'm asking you if you know why then please comment and let me know reverse of a number the output is going to be something like this enter your number 1 2 3 4 sorry 1 2 8 4 oops reverse is 4 8 2 1 it's exactly what we are going to do So there are two ways of doing this. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the first one, which is the simpler way. Now, here is something you guys need to know. There is something called string which cannot be modified. Every time you try and modify it, this is going to give you a new new string. That's how the string works. But on the other hand, there is something called string buffer which can be modified. That means if you have data inside your string buffer you try to add something delete something reverse something the string which is inside gets modified now at this point if you are a beginner you're probably confused what this is and what it means so i'm going to tell you what there are two classes in java that handle with string stuff one of them being string the other being string buffer there's a third one too called string builder which we are not going to look at it right now so let's put this to the test and see so here in that beans i have an empty project just to show you that a string cannot be modified i'll say string s i'll say hello string x now i'm going to concat something by saying world something like this so what i'm trying to do over here is i have a string s which is hello and i'm adding this world to this hello but since the string cannot be modified this is going to give me a new string x and s is going to be unchanged take a look at this s system dot out dot print ln you control s oh wait a second let me comment this out shift f6 so you guys can see s has not been modified even after we added world to it right that means it gave a new string x this hello world is a new string x not s but if you see a string buffer let me show you what a string buffer works like string buffer b is new string buffer you're going to have to use a constructor to use make a string buffer and now i'll say hello the same thing and i'll say b dot append the which does the same thing as concatenating stuff and i'll say world all right and now i'm going to go ahead print this and i'll take this in string buffer y gonna print b gonna print y so let's see control s shift f6 now you guys see that if you add world to hello your buffer b also gets modified because now it has become hello world and your new string buffer y that is also hello world right so this is the difference between string and string buffer and we are going to use and exploit this difference to find the reverse of a number so let's go back to the presentation and see how that's done so here is how we do it we take any number we convert it to a string buffer reverse the string buffer convert back to the number sounds simple so let's go ahead and get this on net beans up and running So here I'm going to remove all the statements. Going to ask the user a number. He's going to enter it and say integer num. I'm going to make a string buffer using this integer or in short I'm going to put this integer's data inside a string buffer. A string buffer is just like a string. Remember there is no difference, but it can be modified. That's the only difference you need to know. So I say string buffer b is new string buffer. put the number inside and put an empty double quotes now why i'm doing this is because i have this number i want to convert this to a string remember you have to put a string inside inside the string buffer so that it also maintains a string with itself so let me go ahead as you guys can see there's a simple function called reverse i'll say b dot reverse that's why i used this technique and i'm going to print this out pretty simple trick right 
We are exploding the function. Let's say Control S, Shift F6 to run. Enter a number. I'll say one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. This is the first way of finding a reverse. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. I'll be making a next video on how to reverse a number using the other way, the traditional way. So comment, let us know. Keep watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.